Hello everyone, welcome to Mac TV. Today we are going to look at some pictures from the old den. As a lot of you would not have had the chance to go to the old den, see me all playing the top flight. So we have some pictures of the old den, the last game, a game against West Ham and some pictures from the top flight, the away end and a few other pictures. Hope you enjoy. Here we have an aerial view of the old den. So, top right, you have the coal below lane end. To the left of that, with the blue seats, was the family enclosure. To the left of that, you had what was known as the halfway liners. Then the other end behind the goal, which was next to the away end, which is down in the bottom left. And then along the other halfway line was a seated area. Here we have a panoramic view from the halfway liners stand. To the left you have Coblo Lane, to the right was the other stand next to the away end and as you can see right up in that corner uh, tucked away is the away fans and then the other halfway line stand that was all seater. Here we have some more pictures from the stands. So as you can see got a good picture of the halfway liner stand in the top circle and then the bottom right you have a picture of the Cobla Lane end and then in the background is another view of the Cobla Lane end from the halfway liner stand. This is the entrance areas for the old den. In the background you have the away end, not a very nice walkway up to the stadium and in the circles was the entrances for the home fans. Here we have the away end at the old den. As you can see, it wasn't a very nice place to be, but that's where we want our away fans to be. As you can see from the picture on the top right hand corner, we have the graffiti on the bridge, WHU, turn back. Here we have some pictures of the last game at the old den. Now we lost 3-0, but no one really cared. It was all about the last game at the old den. A lot of people were quite sad and still to this day miss the old den. So in the bottom left, you have the lion on the roof. I'm sure you've heard this story from your elders. And then you've got some more pictures of the fans on the pitch where they jumped on the pitch to collect some souvenirs, grass, seeks, etc. This is the Millwall team from 1987-88 season where they won the Division 2 Championship to gain promotion to the top flight for the very first time. In that season, Teddy Sheringham scored a record of 38 goals in a prolific partnership with Cash Garino. We also have the likes of Keith Stevens, who went on to captain and manage Millwall. Other favourites, Terry Herlock, Brian Horn, Les Briley, Alan McCleary, Jimmy Carter and also I had the privilege to say that I got to watch one of my cousins play Dennis Salmon which was one of the reasons I started going down Millwall and fell in love with the club. Here we have some title winning pictures after the last game of the season where Millwall clinched a Division 2 championship and as you can see you've got Les Briley celebrating with the trophy picture of Cash Garino and Teddy Sheringham. Millwall West Ham. Now this is probably one of the most hated rivalries in the UK. This was one of my favourite home games at the Old Den where Millwall won 2-1 with goals from Malcolm Allen and Phil Barber. This game was played in 1992. I'm going to finish off with pictures from our first season in the top flight. In the background you've got the capacity crowds, top you have the team photo, in the middle you've got John Barnes who scored the first goal against us at the home game, with the bottom left you've got Thompson with the equaliser and in the top right you've got Herlock giving Gascoigne a kick. Thanks for watching our video of the old den. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and share the video and please subscribe to our channel.